Hello there everyone, Mediocre Otaku here, and today I'm going to be showing what I got at a uh, Otakon 2021, so ignore that 2019 there. Um, they didn't have any new uh, shirts for this year, I guess they didn't have time to get everything together to, you know, design something and then have some company print everything out. So that's unfortunate, but they had plenty of stuff from past years there, so I picked up this nice hoodie. And then the hoodie has this design on the back of it. Um, I got this sick World Martial Arts Tournament shirt. A Phantom Blood JoJo's Bizarre Adventure shirt. And for some reason they had a Rutgers t-shirt there. I don't really understand what the deal with that is. So other than apparel, I did pick up a few other things. Um... This being one of them, which, let me see if I can, yeah, good enough. Um, so this is Eric from Dragon Quest XI. I've been uh, slowly collecting all the figures from the Dragon Quest XI stuff. Um, I also have the hero from Dragon Quest Three and Five. Um, but lately they've been kind of skimping on the accessories that the figures come with, so I don't know if I'll keep on picking them up. But, uh, all the Dragon Quest XI ones are really awesome. So if you're a fan, I would definitely recommend checking them out. They're a little pricey, but, uh, I think they're worth it at least. Um, and then I also picked up the Dragon Quest IV soundtrack, which has two discs. I've only listened to the first one so far, but, uh... Yeah, the first one has all sorts of orchestral stuff. And I guess the second disc has, um, like, the mid, mid eye files, I'm guessing. I, don't, I haven't listened to it yet, so I can't really say for sure. Um, but yeah, opening it up. Got the disc there. And then this actually has, uh, let me open this up. This actually has, like, the actual musical score, which is really cool to me, because uh, I grew up playing the upright bass in uh, from, like, third grade all the way through college, which I don't think that's come up before, so there you go. And then that is the second disc right there. I also picked up the Golgo 13 Blu-ray, which I have started watching, and I am enjoying it quite a lot so far. Um, I have like one episode left on the first disc to finish up, so, uh, yeah, uh, region A only, English and Japanese, um, standard Sentai release. So these are all the discs. Yeah, if you just want to watch something super manly. Uh, this dude's the ultimate Chad, so definitely check that out if that sounds like something you're interested in. Um, yeah, I managed to get that for a good price, actually. Uh, got it for like 110 and I've been seeing them on eBay for like 150 to 200 so I was pretty happy when I found that. Also picked up Ayane's High Kick, which, uh, I don't know a whole lot about this, other than it's a super old, uh, Central Park Media release. Um, they just did a, a ton of, ton of OVAs, um, back in the day. Um, some of them not so great, <laughs> some of them not so bad. Um, yeah, I, I honestly really love Central Park Media, the U.S. Manga Core and all that. Company Spokes, Mecha, MD, Geist, some crazy bullshit. I don't know what they... <laughs> it's no surprise I went out of business, honestly. Um, but I picked up another Central Park Media release. This was this is the only Baki thing that I hadn't owned yet. So picked this up for like 17-ish dollars, I think. Um, yeah, I watched this already. Uh I would not recommend this as your starting point into the franchise, because it just kind of picks up in the middle of an arc, and then it doesn't end the arc either, so... Uh, but if you know what's going on prior to watching it, then uh, it's not bad. This also comes with uh, 
some old ass Netflix flyer, which I thought was super cool. Um, I I didn't even know Netflix was around since 1998. That's crazy to me. Um, yeah, I thought they were like a sort of mid 2000s kind of thing. So I'm recording this in a post-production because my camera's autofocus makes a ton of noise and uh, moving these cards around makes it focus a lot and thus make a lot of noise. But anyway, um, this is Nobleman Across Out from the uh, Hobby League uh, promotion thingy. Um, you got these Hobby League promos from winning tournaments, I believe, way back in the day in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and... What's special about these is that the whole card is foil rather than uh, just the image on the card being foiled out. And then my friend actually got this Tanjiro card uh, signed for me. I'm not sure where to exactly acquire this Tanjiro card, um, but yeah, I, I was in line with him for like three hours on Saturday uh, trying to get Zach Aguilar's autograph, which I hope I'm saying right. Um, and we were there right when they were allowing people to get in line. And uh, we basically what happened was uh, everyone was waiting around until they could start forming a line. And then as soon as everyone's clocks on their phones hit uh, that time, they started rushing towards the, uh, the autograph table. So the staff had to stop everyone uh, because they were all acting stupid. Um, and then they just sort of had everyone standing around for a while until they could organize things a little bit better. And, um, I, I was towards, so, so there were two lines. There was the line to get the autographs and the line to get into the line to get the autographs. Uh, I was in the secondary line, so, but I was towards the front, so I thought for sure I'm getting this dude's autograph, but, um... That line was not moving at all. Well, I shouldn't say that. It was really barely moving at all. Um, so I was getting kind of worried. Um, but I eventually, I was the, uh, the next guy in line, right? So I was the first guy in the line to get into the line. And that's when they capped off the actual line to get the autographs. And I just burst out laughing the the staff probably thought that uh i was having some sort of mental breakdown but uh <laughs> i wouldn't blame them for thinking that uh but it was actually pretty funny to me um but anyway then my friend the next day he uh Zach Aguilar was doing another autograph thing and he managed to actually get in line for that and he uh got this for me so if you see this thank you very much uh, even though I already told you thank you. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.